Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Um, guys, I've got some amazing, amazing news. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to share this news with you. And the news is that... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Our Mexican hairless dog is fully housebroken. Yay! Well, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that, you know, she doesn't have any accidents. But she consistently, like 95% of the time, goes on the puppy pad, either here or here. This like makeshift pen we've made using like, it's, it's actually uh, used for chickens here in the Philippines. But uh, yeah, she totally goes on the puppy pad, either there or here when she's out. I also noticed she liked, like when she first arrived, she kept coming here to poo. So we've put it here and she now also uses this. And something tells me it's because she wants to go out, like something in her instincts are telling her to go out to go poo and pee. Usually I don't uh, let the dog choose where they're gonna go eliminate. Maybe she might do it now. Oh, yep, there, see, she's pooing. Oh my gosh, see? Good girl, you pooed. Good girl. You see that, guys? The magic of housebreaking a dog. So, um, usually I don't let the dogs choose where to pee or poo, but because she is showing signs of wanting to go out to go to the bathroom, um, by going to that area all the time, I am going to put a puppy pad there just to encourage her uh, to go there because eventually she will be like Rizal, so kind of large, and I'm guessing her droppings will also be large. So I would rather her go outside with Rizal to eliminate if that's what she's already doing. Um, so yay, oh my gosh. I'm also super happy about her being housebroken because we read that this breed of dog, because they're so primitive, they're an old breed, right? That they're very hard to housebreak. I'm like, yay! Is this true? Is she really housebroken in three days? Guys, it only took three days. That's faster than my other dogs. They took around maybe 10 days to kind of get it, or a week. But Brittany over here, who's playing with Rizal, really has a great memory and she's extremely smart. Brittany, I'm so proud of you. Yes, so good, so good, so good. No biting, no, no, no. Now the only thing we have to try to get her not to do is to bite. She play bites, she's at that stage, no. <laughs> she loves the toys. She often visits this toy box. She learned very quickly that anything in these boxes um, are toys and she's she can bite them. She doesn't bite cords, thank goodness. She doesn't really bite anything else that she shouldn't be biting. But when she's excited, she'll bite like your pants or sometimes your skin. But I mean, she's a puppy, guys. She's 12 weeks old and Rizal was, was like that as well. But she learns super quickly, like, I, I, I can't even explain. She's, I almost feel like she's smarter than all my other dogs. Rizal, is she smarter than you? Hmm? I also find she plays differently, like, than the other dogs. There's something about her that's really, she, she feels more wild. She feels like a wild dog. When I watch her playing with the other dogs, she's like, RJ describes her as like being a monkey. She's very monkey-like. Like she'll jump around and she'll use her arms a lot. Like she uses her hands a lot, um, which apparently this breed does. They have webbed like fingers. Let's see if I can show you. They've got interesting paws, very webbed, and they use it to manipulate things. Like they're almost semi-dexterous. They'll use it to like handle toys, like, see, 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 she uses her hands a lot, um, more than the other dogs, like, almost like a monkey, guys, she's like Dexter, she'll grab things, she climbs, which is why we had to create this pen with a roof, because a normal fence, she could climb, guys, and she's only 12 weeks old, there she goes, grabbing another toy, she's only 12 weeks old, guys, and she's climbing things, she's getting into everything, she smells everything, she feels like a difference, almost, Almost like a different species. <laughs> she doesn't feel like like a dog. And one thing I've noticed is she's so eager to please. I just do a firm no when she does something and she, she doesn't do it ever again. I mean, other than the biting thing, because I know she'll learn to stop biting. 
Look at her go. And she's growing, guys. Look. She loves playing with Rizal. She loves playing with Sahara. She's learned to stay away from Cypher because <laughs> Cypher does not approve of her. But she's fit right in. <laughs> and Rizal, you know to be gentle, right? You know to be gentle. They're closest in age. These two are my youngest dogs, so they're non-stop playing. And if Brittany continues to eliminate on the puppy pads during her playtime, uh, soon we'll just, we'll, we can get rid of this. This ugly green pen that we've made um, because she's proven that she can, you know, go on the puppy pad and not just anywhere else. Let's hope, Mabuhay squad. Let's hope. I'll give her like, I don't know, maybe three days. If she's perfect in three days, then we, she can have free roam of our place. But oh, I'm so grateful for it because man, I was so afraid that this housebreaking process would take like six months or something. Cause that's, that's what I was under the impression of. Like that this would take six months to housebreak her. But nope, she's a smart one. She remembers, she gets it. She gets the concept. Oh, and by the way, to do that, we, let her sleep in a crate in our room. The moment we wake up, we put her on a puppy pad in our bathroom. She pees and then generally we find she doesn't want to poo in the same place that she pees. So we bring her down here, put her in the pen, she poos in the pen um, and then we clean all the puppy pads right away uh, and replace them. And then she gets some outdoor time, plays with the dogs all day and then we watch her like a hawk for while she's out here because we correct her. I've corrected her maybe three times. And then after that, she started to like get the concept, I think. She would pee there and she would pee and poo out there. So that's how I did it, guys. It took some like watching like a hawk. Um, she's not allowed on our bed because I let her on our bed and like a couple times she peed on it and one time she pooed on it. So um, RJ and I decided, no, you know what? We're not gonna, we're not gonna let her on the bed because she's also a medium sized dog, small to medium sized dog. And I don't think we're gonna want her on our bed in the future. So we're starting now to get her used to sleeping on the floor. Anyways, that's how we did it. And I'm, every time we get a new dog in our pack, which I'm not planning to yet. <laughs> I'm going to be super strict about making sure that their house broken. The dogs are awake now. There's Cypher peeing outside like a good boy. Sahara peed as well. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got. Now, Brittany's not allowed out because she hasn't had all her shots. Come inside. Come on, kids. Good doggies. All right. How are you, Sipes? Good morning. Brittany loves playing with Sahara as well. Yeah. <laughs> Brittany's like, come on sis, come on sis, go play. <laughs> Someone had a bath, yes. We weren't allowed to bathe her for the past few days because she oh, 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 okay. recently had her a, a booster shot and um, also the uh, anti-tick and flea. So this is actually her first bath with us. We bought all kinds of products for her skin. Be, you know, people think that, you know, they're hairless, their maintenance is easy they're low maintenance but in fact yes you don't have to brush them no biting. but no you biting. do have yeah. to like lotion no them biting. no biting you you should you need to use special like shampoos when bathing them like mild shampoos because it's all skin guys and um they also need sunscreen if they're out in the sun for extended periods of time crazy right mm -hmm. we're gonna lotion you up now so these hairless dogs are not lower maintenance so to speak they're just different maintenance RJ, you were laughing because? Super easy to dry. Yeah, she's so easy to dry. She's like super dry now. There's Coco. Good morning, Cokes. Oh, Sahara's not in the mood to play right now. Coco is though. Cokes, go play. So this is what we're using for her skin currently. Um, it's all natural, it's for dogs. It's got plant oils, beeswax, calendula extract, and vitamin E. It's used normally for paws, so we actually can use it for our other dog's paws or dry skin. So um, currently we just kind of like rub it around her body, particularly around her like back and like neck area, because that's where we find she's driest. Um, but we are looking for a better product that's more of a lotion, because this is more of like a, look, I'll show you. It smells good. 
See, this is more of like a balm. And you know what, guys? Sometimes I have dry lips and I use it on myself. It actually works. I mean, it's all natural. It's okay, it's okay for humans. It's also kind of gross because she doesn't have fur, right? So, and she's, oops, she's always playing with the other dogs, especially Rizal. And Rizal slobbers. And Rizal's breath isn't always the freshest. So like, often, Brittany's skin smells like Rizal by the end of the day. So I'm happy that we could finally bathe her now. And I spoke too soon. Guys, there was a puddle of pee here. And I'm pretty sure it was Brittany. Uh, we weren't watching. But it could also be one of the other dogs. Because what tends to happen is like when new dogs come into the pack or like when there are visitors, the other dogs tend to scent mark. Or well, the males anyway. Cypher and Rizal. Or they just like the whole like excitement of having a new dog maybe get causes them to pee where they shouldn't. So uh, yeah, not 100% sure that it was Brittany, but knowing the other dogs, they wouldn't just pee here. Uh, so I think it was Brittany, but it's okay. She still is at like what 90% success rate. I have faith, guys. And I really need to keep watching because the correct thing to do is to watch the dogs non-stop. Like literally don't take your eye off the dog while they're out playing out so that when they do squat and pee, you have those few seconds to say no and grab them, put them on the puppy bed and teach them that that's where they have to be. And if they get away with it, then uh, they kind of learn. They remember, oh, I remember. I peed here last time and it was okay. Um, and so you want to try to avoid that. But again, it's it's only day, th what, day three? It's only day three or four. Like, gonna give, gotta give her a break. Now we won't have this problem in the future Mabuhai Squad farmhouse, which we are currently building because our home has security cameras. And we can go back into the footage on our mobiles and see who left what puddle or what pile of poo where anytime. Mm hmm You guys better watch out. We'll have many eyes now, doggies. So the dogs are napping now. Brittany just woke up because she saw me grab the vlogging camera. Uh, we're going to buy her a new crate today. Although she loves this crate so much. She's feeding from elevated bowls, which she loves. And guys, I think she's pretty happy here with us. What do you guys say? I mean, I hope so. There's Coco. Yes, Cokes. This here is Coco, the sister of Sahara, biological brother also of Cypher, and uh, daughter of Miranda. So her and Miranda, the teacup chihuahua, who you see running around also in our vlogs, um, they belong to my cousins Edmark and Nika, who are currently renting this home with us. And uh, it, this house is just, there's never a dull moment with all these dogs. It's a dog house. Hey Miranda, this is Miranda, the mom of all the dogs. Hey, Rizalzies. Just sleep, sleep. <laughs> Coco's awake, playing with her sister. These are twin sisters here, born to Miranda. Okay, guys. Sahara, give Coco some air, seriously. It's gonna be really sad when we move away uh, into the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse because these two have just been so used to being together. <laughs> Look at them. They play so much, nonstop, every day, and they've become so attached. Oops. It'll be sad to separate them. But I mean, They'll see each other often. That's the best part about adoption, guys, as opposed to buying, because you know where all the siblings are. And like usually if you're adopting from a friend or family member, like in our case, it was our cousins, the siblings get to see each other like throughout their entire lives, uh, which is kind of nice. You know, usually if you're buying from a breeder, you don't know who the other puppies are going to. Um, so in effect, the dog doesn't get to see its siblings, uh, you know, ever again, or even its parents. All right, guys. So um, RJ and I are heading somewhere very important. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to unbox this package that came to us. And um, it's just been sitting on our table. We got it um, a couple weeks ago, but I haven't been able to unbox it. And it's something really awesome. Speaking of dogs, my dogs love it. This comes to us from Dr. Shiba, guys. Um, here in the Philippines, it's got some awesome stuff. Again, this is our second box. We love it so much. Check out what's inside. 
Dear Cypher and Pepper. Oh, it's also for Pepper. Your human told me that you have been a good dog. Here are some healthy treats for you. I woof you. More love and boobs. Dr. Sheba. How cute. Oh, wow. Okay, see? So inside this package, we have an awesome brochure. Now, what these are, are they're healthy treats, guys. And trust me, our dogs love them. Especially Rizal. They've got three here. Happy tummy. Functional dog snacks. See that? Silky fur, which is good for um, our three dogs with a lot of fur. And jolly joints. Good for um, joints, I suppose. Isn't that awesome? So digestion, joint health, and uh, healthy fur. And guys, again, our dogs love them. What is this? Oh, stickers! Guys, be sure to follow them on Instagram and Facebook, Dr. Dash Sheba, as well as TikTok, Dr. Sheba Com. How awesome. Love it so much. Thanks so much, Dr. Sheebs. <laughs> Dr. Sheebs. Thanks so much, Dr. Sheba. And wow, look, for small dogs, they recommend six treats a day, medium, 12 treats a day, and for large dogs, 24 treats a day. Interesting. I've just been using it for positive reinforcement for training. Rizal especially loves it. As soon as I go in my cupboard, um, he knows that I'm grabbing a treat, and so he'll drop whatever he's doing and runs to me to get this. I'll show you what the treats look like. They look like this. See? They look like that. See? Little heart-shaped treats. Mmm, they smell great. And our dogs love them. So guys, go check them out on social media. Actually, it's Cypher's favorite. Yeah, he loves Dr. Sheba. Cypher loves it. He'll grab it and he'll run. Yeah. Right? He runs to make sure none of the other dogs steal it from him. Alright guys, so I just woke up um, because we have been driving for quite a while and we're actually heading somewhere very important. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, spot. Where we're heading now is 